Hello everyone. In this tutorial I'm going to cover how to sketch in perspective so you are able to create sketches for Project 2 Cityscape. So one of the first things you're going to need to do is you're going to need to research and study cityscapes. In your uh, assignment sheet there will be a, a Pinterest link to my Pinterest account that shows the cityscapes that I have pinned and it would be a good idea to go through here and take a look at and see if anything catches your eye. I'm always adding to this. Uh, there's a variety of different types of cityscapes. Some of these are architectural renderings from Hugh Ferris. Some of these are concept art pieces for, for uh, movies. Uh, some are for games. Some are for animation. So you're going to see some that are much more cartoonish in style. Um, for our Project 2, you're creating an illustration for a cityscape. And the cityscape could be something that is either set in the present, or it could be set in the past, or it could be set in the future. So take a look at the cityscapes I have posted. Also, I think it's a good idea to, to go onto Google Images and to Google Cityscapes to see what you can find. It's very important to, to be looking at different types of compositions, different types of architecture, uh, different types of scenery, to see what type of cityscape you should be sketching. You know, uh, you can't just start creating this out of thin air. You've got to actually do a little research first, okay? And I've downloaded, this is in my folder, this is not pinned anywhere. But I had downloaded this several years ago when I was first assigning this project um, so that you, you can go through here and take a look and see what I have here. But you, could do, you can create your own folder of images you've downloaded for cityscapes to, to help you out. And uh, that's something I always think is important to do. So anyway, I could keep going through here, but I'm going to move on to something else. Um, one of the reasons I give this assignment is, yeah, it's, it's, yes, it's complex, but, you know, there was, a, there was a point in time when I could not do something like this easily, and um, this was the piece that I'm showing you now, was a piece that really kind of changed all that for me, because I had this rough sketch, which I'll show in just a second, and um, I thought, you know what, I would like to, I would like to try to pull this off. And so I came up with my composition, I came up with the perspective, I designed the basic shapes of the buildings, but I didn't have any of that detail in there. Now later on, I'm going to show you how easy it is to put that detail in, okay? Because once I figured out how, how to design and paint windows quickly, that changed everything. And so that's one of the reasons I'm giving you this assignment is because there are shortcuts. And, but in the beginning here, you're going to have to do some sketching. Um, for this, I'll show you just how this got started. So that was a thumbnail that I had a long time ago, and I found it in my sketchbook, and I scanned it. And then this was another little thumbnail, the same thing. It looked, it is fairly rough. I took that, and in pencil and paper, I actually drew this out. So you can see how that evolved. I scanned that in, and I kind of composited those things together. So I actually put put together what you see in the final. Uh, but that's how I came up with that whole sketch, the whole theme there. And so it's important to know how to sketch in perspective, even if it's rough. But you're going to have to show me something that basically looks a little bit more finished, finished enough so that we can see what's going on in your composition. So in Photoshop, I'm going to show you how to sketch, but you don't have to use Photoshop for sketching, okay? Um, you can sketch in pencil and paper or pen and paper whatever is easiest you can sketch if you've got a, a tablet you can sketch in uh, one of the apps like procreate or sketchbook but anyway when we're sketching we need to think in terms of uh, what type of format we're going to be working in so the first thing I would suggest is you should think about you know maybe this is going to be for a landscape format now it's not required but I'm just thinking in those terms right now or it could be for portrait format so anyway when you're starting off sketching 
Now, mind you, I have some shortcuts because I'm in Photoshop, but you can apply the same thing over into pencil and paper. And what I'm actually doing is I'm putting down these little tick marks to show me, you know, if I was to divide this into thirds. That one was by mistake, this little tick mark right here, because that was too close over. Because in our in our discussion last time on sketching out the background and doing a color study for it, I showed about splitting it up into thirds and improving it. Well, if we're doing a sketch, we can kind of do that with these little tick marks. So one of the things we should think about always is, if we're dealing with perspective, is uh, the horizon line. Where would that be? We don't want to place it down the middle of the page. That's boring, okay? So avoid doing the middle. So you either want your, your horizon line to be on the bottom here, okay, or up on top. Since, since I've already started drawing this, let's just start with it being on the bottom. And if it's on the bottom, perhaps we're drawing out a sketch, and perhaps our vanishing point would be here, and perhaps we would have a building here, okay? And so we can actually begin to think about we don't have to draw these lines all the way back. You know, if you want to, you can, but it really gets in the way after a while. But I'm just sketching here, and this is what I'm talking about being able to sketch in perspective. Now, if I had a, now, one of the things that your project requirements is, is that you have to design a cityscape in either two or three point perspective, okay? So in this case, we're going to have two point, and my two point, my second point here would be so far off here, it might be way off the page. So we got to kind of think about in, in terms of how far that might be off, but we don't have to always show it, okay? And I'm just sketching here, okay? I'm keeping these more uh, vertical here, these lines. But these lines, are I'm thinking about going to a vanishing point. Um, so right now I've got one building. I could add on to that. Maybe a, I'm, pu I'm putting in a sidewalk right now. Uh, perhaps I have another building next to it, but this building may not be as tall because that's one of the things that occurs within cities, is that you have buildings that have different heights to them, okay? And, and sometimes they have some spaces. So, some buildings might recede further back in off the sidewalk, okay? I'm not drawing windows yet, because windows can be draw, sketched in later, okay? We're just thinking about the overall composition here, okay? Like, what are our buildings? How tall are they going to be? You know, how many they're going to be within this composition? You know, maybe I'll draw another building here, and this kind of goes back into space, okay? Now, if that's the, if that's going to be for our street, we should probably begin to show the other side of the street here. And I'm just loosely sketching, okay? And that's what you've got to get used to, is sketching in perspective, okay? And we can always make changes here, okay, if we need to. Now, this is, like I said, this is just a rough. Um, also, it's good to think about light source. Because, you know, this will do this will do so much for our composition if we think of our light source. We really got two choices. It could either be on this this side of the building of this of this front building could be lit, or this side. It just depends on how we want it. If this side is lit, then this side's all going to be in shadow. So we would want to just quickly shade this. And so this building right here, all these buildings on this side of the street are going to be totally in shadow. You see how quick that is? And so that's something to think about because that's so important. All right, this was the side of this building here. We might, might not make it go back as far. So let's just make block this out. I'm going to use my eraser to clean up a few things here, like maybe this right here and then maybe this line right here. Okay. Anyway, you know, it's important to think about these shadows. And if this is a building, then and it's casting a shadow, the shadow would go along the street this way. And so this, and we might even see on some of these buildings, shadows of the other buildings on this side, okay? And so that's just something we could think about. And now if we're going to start putting in windows, we can actually, you know, I can go in here. You could do this with pencil and paper. If you're doing pencil, you can just, you know, erase out some of the pencil lines as needed or draw light, you know? So I'm, so I'm erasing away this horizon line here. So I can actually begin to actually sketch out. It's good to look at uh, buildings and the types of buildings. You know, I'm thinking that this could be a down uh, downtown scene, and this building is maybe an old department store. You know, 
where we have a display window here, okay? Above it, we may have normal windows. Now, we don't have to get the windows all correct. These are just for placement here. You know, later on, when we start actually using uh, perspective guides to help us, uh, we can actually plan out the windows a little bit better. But it's a good idea to just sort of get those started here. You know, maybe there's another building, another another type of scene here with the main doorway. Maybe this doorway kind of goes in a little bit. You know, maybe maybe it's just they've got one row of windows here on this. So, like I said, I'm just playing around here for this quick little sketch. And we might even think about, like, you know, maybe there's a post here somewhere. Okay, and on this post we might have, you know, like, for a street sign here. We might have a street sign going this way, or we could have a light, a light post here. Maybe out here we got a light post. You know, just little things to kind of add to our cityscape. Okay, maybe there's another building back here. And if that's the case, then the shading would be on that side of the building. Okay, so so this is just a quickie little sketch here. I'm doing. I'm going to do another one here. Okay, because it's very important to get used to this. And this may take you, you might have to do 50 of these in order to get start to start getting the hang of this. Don't expect it to happen overnight if you've never drawn like this before, okay? So, and our cityscape can be, you know, either more up close. We've got to show some background here, okay? You have to. All right, for this next one, let's make this more of a portrait. So I'm going to just draw out a few sketches here. I've got a sketch I was working on. And I just want to cover this because this is the hardest part, I think, is the sketching. The other part is hard, but we're going to be using guides and shortcuts and Photoshop to help us out. So let's think about, you know, if we're going to split this up into thirds here. You, know, think of, you just got to kind of eyeball it here. And this, and this kind of helps each time you do this, is to think in terms of your rectangle, your composition space split off into thirds so that you know if we had our horizon line below maybe in this one our horizon line is up in here okay and if so then maybe we are actually going to be looking down you know maybe we have a really big tall building here and of course if that's the case then the perspective would kind of go more this way okay um, maybe there is a rooftop of a building and I'm going to put a rooftop right here Okay, and maybe there's a you know maybe there's another building right here. I'm just I'm just sketching you out here because you know we can always erase out things if things are not going to be right, all right. And I'm just sketching this out quickly here, thinking about in terms of my perspective. You know, am I, is this going to be my street here? And if so, you know how far back does it go? I'm just I'm just playing around here. You never know what you're going to get until you start sketching this stuff out where it's going to lend itself to. And you can always start another one if, if this one isn't working out. And, and again, I think it really helps to think about in terms of, you know, if we're looking down on a lot of rooftops here, you know, it's good to have some of these rooftops actually go um, above the skyline. And so I had one already. Let's do, a, let's do another one here. Let's do another building. It goes way up here like this, and it's so extreme, it's pretty, we wouldn't see much of it at all, okay? And like I said, I'm just sketching out here and see what we can come up with. You know, that might be too close compositionally to the edge. We might need to move all that stuff. But this is just a rough, and we can, we can do another one here. I think it's important to do several roughs and then get into detail okay so let me do another one here we'll do another portrait one okay now i am in photoshop so i do have the advantage of holding down the shift key if you need to you can get your ruler out to draw your boxes but like i said it really you really shouldn't be using your ruler to sketch with because it slows you down you want to be able to sketch out quickly so you can get your concept, your idea, your composition out quickly enough. It's hard to do that when you're going slow, okay? So like, you know, let's say we're, we're going to do a, a cityscape here. And 
again, let's move our horizon line up to here, perhaps. Um, and so obviously we're going to be looking down on some some tops of buildings. You know, maybe maybe our two point perspective is going to go this way, just to think about in those terms. Okay, so we might have a building coming towards us right here. Uh, there might be another building in front of it that goes this way. So you know, I'm, like I said, I'm just sketching here to see what I can come up with. Um, do another building here. Then let's do another really tall building right here. And this building is going past the horizon line, all right? So, and this is this is how you know people basically sketch out you know comic book panels, just really rough, really loose, just to get a sense of it. You know, some people go, will go into Sketch, uh, SketchUp, and which is a program where you can kind of design in perspective. But I think it's really good to get used to doing this. So, so there's another one. I'm not crazy about it, so I'm going to move along here. And I'm going to do a few of these, and then we're going to move on to refining one that I've been working on a little bit. Okay, so let me bring this over here. There we go. And like I said, I'm going to do a few portraits. I might go back to doing a landscape. The one that I was working on was more of a landscape. And so that's why I'm doing these portraits here, just to see what I can come up with. And thinking about breaking this up into thirds, okay, the best we can, unless you want to put out guides and do all that. But, you know, like I said, these are sometimes just the amount of time it takes you to do all that. You know, some of these sketches are not going to work out always. So that's why it's good to work loose like this. So let me, you know, say our horizon line's here again. All right. Now, let's let's say we're looking at a scene where maybe we have a building. Maybe our horizon line goes. Yeah, there we go. We'll, we'll at least sketch in where maybe the street is going to kind of help us out here. All right. So we might be looking down on a street, of course, since our horizon line is so far up. Right here is another corner of a building that's coming towards us. Right here is another building that's across the street. Okay, we're looking down on it. And like I said, this this is just very quick, very loose. We'll do this building that that breaks across here. All right. Uh, maybe there's another smaller building here. Okay, and it's just a matter of sketching these in, thinking about our perspective that. There we go. So see, this this is very important. Again, you know, let's think about where our light source is coming from. Let's say that our light source is coming this way, and we've got our buildings in shadow on this side. So every every side this way is going to be in shadow. Okay. So this is going to make it a little bit more interesting to look at, a little bit more dramatic. Okay. Um, and with that being the case, then that maybe we got to think in terms of the angle. You know, maybe the, the light's going this way so that the, the shadows are going down the street this way. Okay, very simple. You know, maybe this building right here is casting a shadow. That's just, you know, this is how we're going to be sketching out things until you get something that begins to work better, okay? So right now, as you see, I have... You know, four rough sketches. My first one, I like this first one here. I like this one here. You know, you're not always going to get a great sketch each time. That's why you're going to have to do a bunch of sketches. Now, this was some sketching I'd done um, one of the times before when I was teaching this class. And I was sketching in line like I've been doing. But then I started sketching, since I was sketching in Photoshop and we were working in the Cintiq lab, I was showing how to sketch out with a uh, square brush. And that's something that we could do to just show you in case you are going to be sketching on your computer in Photoshop. Uh, you can always go and get your legacy brushes. So let's, I think I may already have them. Yep, there they are right there. There's my legacy brushes. So in my legacy brushes, if you don't have them, go over here and load them up. All right, go here. You'll see right here where it says le legacy brushes and it will load them up. 
under your legacy brushes, you will find a set of brushes. And mind you, that's the default. Yeah, here we go. I'm just going to go through here so it gets a little quicker. I've got a bunch of these open here. All right, so square brushes. All right, perfect. They're all the same square. You know, they just have different sizes. So, you know, if I'm going to sketch in Photoshop, I find it fairly cool to do, you know, just do a new, new page here. Okay, actually, I think I did a new page. Let me just turn this page off. I say page, it's actually a layer, but I'm thinking in terms of sketchbook. So what I would do is, if I'm sketching with a square brush, um, I would lower the opacity down to maybe 30. I'll use black in the beginning, and see, I can just sort of begin to kind of sketch out here, and you know, you be you begin to sort of see things, and we can look, raise things, you know. I'm just sketch. One of the things I'm going to do is change my brush brush setting here. So the spacing is much tighter, so you won't get that jaggedness, okay? And what I like to do is I'll just, we'll sketch really just loosely here, okay? And then we'll put a box around this after we begin to get something, because I'm just sort of ghosting in something. Uh, another cool thing about sketching with this square brush is we'd probably want to set the eraser to be the same. So I'm going to go and do some erasing here, but I'm going to go to use a square brush, okay? And I'm going to lower my opacity maybe to 40 as I race out. Maybe 50. Okay. There we go. And so th as you can see, you can begin to almost see what I'm sketching. It's, it's kind of ghostly there just because it's not all filled in here. But, you know, one of the things I can do is I can use my brush there, my... Um, my alt key here to actually sample okay you know we might think in terms of maybe there's a rooftop here let's start to think about what kind of composition this should be because right now I just started sketching just to show you this so I'm going to switch my brush to black so we'll go D we'll bring it up to maybe a hundred percent here for a second so we can actually kind of think in terms of where our composition will be okay I'm not even splitting this up into thirds but if we were we could split it up see where you got you know third here I'll bring that up a little bit more right there okay like third over here third here they don't have to be perfect but uh, you know you want them so they're thirds okay so let me get my racing brush here And this, I really love working this way. You know, that's, I find it so much faster if you have, you know, Photoshop and you have a tablet and you can actually sit here and just sort of sketch. All you got to do is raise and lower your, your brush size there, you know. Uh, maybe this should not be this dark this side. Let's see. I'm just lightening it up a little bit. There we go. Because this would be the side of a building. Okay. Um, let's bring that over. We'll bring this all the way over too. Okay. Now we'll maybe make this building just a little darker. I'm going to separate those two out by choosing one. One is going to be darker, okay, and one's going to be a little bit lighter. So we've got to think in terms of which one we want. We'll pick this one to be a little darker so it comes forward, okay? So I'm just going to take that. There we go. So this one will go back a little bit more. I can do this. So I'm just cleaning things up. There we go. And make this just a little bit lighter. There we go. Okay. We'll make this building a little bit lighter here. All right. Make this brush really small. And I'm just kind of sketching it out here, you know. 
like I said, there's different ways to sketch. And I find this way a good way to sketch here. Where you're actually thinking about value. Okay. Let me fix that just a little bit more. Ah, there we go. Low my opacity just a little bit there. And we don't have to do with windows until later, okay? So as you can see here, that's how you can sketch with a um, with a square brush. And you can create all kinds of cool uh, effects with a square brush. But anyway, I'm going to get on to one that I was working with, which was this one here. I actually I've done two here, but I love this one here because this idea I've had for a while, and that is showing a cityscape as if we're walking out of a park. And so I've got my sketch pretty well done here, okay? And I can cl I'm gonna be cleaning up just a little bit more. And I'm actually gonna use my square brush to kind of help me out with here. I'm gonna turn that off. All right, so see I can use my square brush to kind of clean things up quickly. Now mind you, all we're looking for in the beginning is sketches. Sketches and composition. Then we're going to be scanning in that sketch and refining it. So this that's all this tutorial is going to be about is just sketching so I can get you thinking about you know what you need to do and you can actually scan it in and maybe work with the square brushes in Photoshop to kind of help you fix it a little bit more. Okay. I'm kind of painting over a tree right now, or at least the trunk of a tree. We can put that back in later. I'm going to actually raise my opacity just a little. There we go. That's, that really helps me here. Yeah. Okay, let me sample one of these lighter values. Have that there. Take that. Now, one of the things we're going to do is we're going to actually use guides eventually, but we don't need them for our sketch. And the other thing, too, is with our sketch, if we're going to see if there's anything wrong, we should flip our canvas, okay? So I'm flipping it here to see if there's anything wrong. You see how everything begins to tilt there, okay? Well, if that's the case, then what we're going to do is we could, I'm going to just tilt my picture here and maybe change the rectangle to it a little bit. Yeah, let's do that here. Okay, and then let's bring up our guides. And pull this over here. And pull this over here. And we're just going to recenter this better. And I'm thinking of just playing around here. Let's do Command T on this thing and see if I can distort it somewhat so we can actually make this look a little bit better okay we'll pull this this way a little bit more yeah there we go and i'm just trying to get those buildings lined up better okay that's much better like that and then i'm going to take my eraser and just get rid of the stuff that's sticking out and We'll raise the opacity to 100 here so it makes it faster. There we go. Okay, so, so let's get our eraser. We'll erase this part out. I'm going to lower my opacity a little bit so that I don't totally get rid of this hard line. I just wanted to knock it back a little bit. Okay. And then let's go and get my brush, and we can, I'm going to make my square brush really tiny here. And we'll bring it up to 100% here, and we'll make it just, maybe just a little bit bigger. I'm going to actually draw in where this is at. There we go. Now... Let me draw this line. We want this line going more straight up and down. Okay, like that. 
Our horizon is somewhere over in here, okay? So we want to make sure that all these lines will go to that. And, and you know, in Photoshop, we can always just click, click, click. You know, I'm just going back and forth here for a second. We'll take that out. It doesn't have to be completely taken out, but enough to where things are cleaned up. Straighten up this line here. Okay. And then let me go back in here, and this will be going to a different vanishing point way off the page. Okay, we just want these all these lines to kind of correspond with with this other vanishing point we haven't even put in yet. This is probably a little too extreme here, so let's just clean this up just a little bit, and then let's get my eraser and have the eraser. Yeah, it's on thirty. I'm just going to knock this back a little bit so that we can clean this part up. And then we'll go back in and do some more sketching on those windows. Okay. And we'll just use our square brush. I was using a round brush with pressure for the initial sketching, but now that I've shown you guys a square brush, I'm just going to continue using it. It's one of my favorite brushes to use for architecture and blocking things out. And we need to sample maybe this, because we can always just sample. Okay, there we go. All right, so one of the things that's happening in my picture here is the lighting, our shadows are all in the front. The lighting is coming from back here. And so it's casting a shadow this way. Let's let's flip this again and see what it looks like. All right. So see that looks a, that looks much better. That's why it's always good to flip your composition here. Let me get my eraser here and just clean that up. There we go. All right. And you know this is going to be rough. That's okay. One of the think of, one of the things to think about with buildings are the details and that's why it's good to look at buildings and cityscapes before you start doing this there's always these little ledges because all these buildings have flat tops but they have ledges that kind of come out like this okay not all of them but most of them okay so the smaller ones here are going to have that all right now let me get in here we're going to actually kind of clean things up let me i keep saying that but there we go, I like that. So we're just gonna use this square brush to, and we're, I'm gonna show you how to make windows with a square brush, but I'm gonna show you how to make more than one window, a whole side of windows at once, that we're gonna paint so fast that basically we can paint a whole side of windows with one brush stroke, okay? And that's gonna make our lives so much easier here. All right, let me see. Now, the thing is, yeah, this building's in shadow here. These windows, these windows might be pretty dark. These windows, I'm going to go to black here. But, you know, some of them might, the windows, some of them might be on. I'm going to knock them out right now. Maybe we'll leave those two windows on. Maybe there's a window on down here. And we might actually inside here so I can just sort of sketch out. And let's go to black here again. I like to just jump around here, you know, move around so I'm not sketching all in one place at once. We we'll make this all one shade here. Like I said, I'm gonna I plan on putting that tree back in here. But first, 
I wanted to get this shaded a little bit here, my sketch. And this could be like if you're if you don't have Photoshop or if you have another programmer app, you could think of this like a marker perhaps, you know? Because it'll be much faster than working with a pencil. So maybe I'd not just roughly detail. Now, the thing about Windows is they never go all the way up to the top like that. Okay. Still would like to get this cleared up here more. Here, I'm just trying to pick a value that's darker. So we block this out. I like how this brush does, especially when when it builds up. So like, when you have it set, when the opacity is lower, and you go over a few times, you get kind of this impression of of buildings upon buildings, kind of thing within the reflections. It's kind of nice. You can get kind of a, also a brick texture. It's good to think about, you know, your lighter, like the, what is going to be your lightest and your darkest? So like the buildings in the back here, their darker sides are not going to be as dark as the buildings in the front. That will give us much more distance, okay? Like I said, think about it like a marker. Now I'm really kind of getting that going. Right, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a row of lines here like this. And the last row we're going to make the thinnest. But then we're going to go in and let's bring up our opacity here. We got it set at, oh good, 100, good. So what I'm going to do for my windows is, and this is just for sketching purposes, So that is a quick way to do some sketching for windows. Now let's actually put some highlights in some areas here. And I'm just sort of indicating here. Now, it's not perfect, but it's a lot more refined than what we had when we started it. So, one of the last things we're going to be putting in here is that tree in the sky. And I just want to make quick work of it. I don't want to be laboring over this a long time. I'm just trying to clean up. 
And we don't have to include windows on everything, so we're just going to kind of indicate windows, you know. Because like I said, this is a rough sketch. But we wanted it a little more refined than what we had. Okay, so now let's go in here with the sky. And since this is on different layers, you can actually build another layer for the sky. So like, I'm just going to kind of you know, maybe put this value here and just bring it down. And We're just going to do a little shading. We don't need a lot of shading for the sky. Okay. There we go. Now, let me... Let me uh, flip this one time. Let's see. Yeah, see, that's a little bit better. So, still a little rough. Um, let me go back up here to my sketch layer. I'm always cleaning up stuff. Take out some of the bold, bold lines here. Okay. Okay, now let's go and get our, for our tree, I think it's still best to use a round pressure brush like this, and we'll start to sketch our tree in, but you know what, we might as well just do it on another layer. That's the great thing about if you're sketching in Photoshop, is making another layer, and we'll use black to begin with, just because we want more of a silhouette of a tree. And, uh, this will be in the winter time, so it's not going to have any leaves on it. Makes it a little easier so we can see through the tree. And we can do a better tree when we get to our finish. But we want at least to indicate kind of where these branches are going. How many there are. They actually make a brancher brush that kind of helps out, but I'm just using this rounded brush here. A round brush with pressure sensitivity. And you know, this does not have to be totally perfect because we're still just dealing with a sketch. So if we've got our tree, we might want to think in terms of light source. So we might just put a few highlights here and there to kind of pull it out some. Um, let me lower my brush size here. We'll use that. And then we'll just kind of put a few little highlights here and there to kind of pop it out. And maybe those highlights do not go all the way to white all the time. There we go. We just need a few little highlights in here to bring things out, a few little shadows. Kind of hint that this is a tree. We'll use white. Yeah. Okay. And I think this will be good enough for just a rough sketch. So this is what we're looking for. We're looking for about four of these. Okay. Rough sketches that indicate shading. Now these could all be done in pencil. Okay, you can you can always just use pencil and just do a cam, do cam scanner and and send those to me. I'm gonna flatten these right here. Therefore, I can use my eraser. I'm gonna bring it to 100% and just clean that up right there. All right. And then later we'll start to build this. We'll use this as our as our template here for the beginning of our next tutorial which is actually going to be refining this drawing and making uh, it more finished.